One of the things that I really remember and actually um, believe that is something that we should continue is just how quickly we had to innovate and adapt to the changing information we were receiving. Um, when we understood, oh gee, we have to find a place and a location for our COVID positive patients and the work we did around the negative pressure rooms, just the collaboration with facilities to make that happen, to create a space. Um, I couldn't tell you right now the exact amount of time, but it seemed as though overnight, we had a whole new space and location to take care of patients that were COVID positive or presumed um, positive. It was really uh, a, a fantastic uh, approach by all team members. Yeah, I often hear, um, and I felt the same, is that it was nice to see uh, a need get raised and a need get addressed, like in such a rapid time. We didn't have meetings about it. You didn't have a lot of deliberation. You didn't have to get permission other than from incident command, and then and then it was enacted. And I think that having a singular focus for the for the entire organization and having really no no barriers to accomplish the mission was refreshing in a way. In this segment, you will see several other examples of how NMC came together, innovated um, during COVID nineteen. One thing that we were able to stand up really quickly that happened in the first 24 to 48 hours was limiting access to our building, which, you know, in talking to my counterparts, and I know the commanders had the same experience, a lot of organizations took them a little bit longer to get there, and we were able to do that within the first three operational periods where we limited the volunteer program, we set up uh, screening, However rudimentary it was, we limited ourselves to two entrances for patients and one entrance for employees. Throughout the incident command, one of the things that I was impressed most by was how, especially our physician leaders, were really tapping into what was happening in the country, you know, what other hospitals, lessons learned as things were evolving, what other organizations were doing to, to prepare or to handle the um, rush of actual patients coming to their facilities. And one of the things Northwestern Medical Center did, you know, was very, um, very quickly, within just a day's time, we were able to set up a, a drive-up testing site, for instance. So now we all understand those to be very commonplace, but at that moment, uh, we felt like we were inventing the wheel. I was notified on a Wednesday evening to please attend a 7 a.m. meeting on a Thursday. Uh, we met and I got an understanding of what we needed to do. So we had been testing anyone that was a potential COVID suspect in our um, in the main hospital in our old ICU. We needed to decongest here and so we knew that we had Valley Crossroads right next door and it would take uh, the pressure off of the main hospital and so we met, we did a walkthrough, we generated a list of all the things we would need to make it happen, um, defined the workflow, what parties were involved between lab, infection control, um, and identified who was going to help us and who was going to be the swabbers, created competencies for them, and quickly got people in place. And by Friday at 1, well, 12.30, we were testing our first COVID patients. And I got the text at about 11 a.m. that they needed help and to meet them in the old ICU. And so then COVID became a humongous reality that we now needed to operationalize um, a old, dark, quiet unit. So from Friday at noon, and I didn't leave for my trip until well into the late afternoon, and my mind the entire weekend was completely consumed with how are we going to do this? Um, so that Friday was kind of my moment of, okay, this is happening, and Monday the lights were on and the unit was moving. Materials were arriving and computer everyone was on their computers and getting rooms ready and staff and who was going to do this and who was going to do that and it all just kind of erupted and then the next thing you know patients were in there i was asked to uh, join incident command right around middle of march when that happened and uh, help with the uh, collins pearly overflow site uh, which was uh, established sometime in middle of march within about um, 
24 hours, we had all the cots set up. Um, we had the, the overall structure of the facility and the, you know, if we had, if we had to take patients, we could within, within 24 hours. And that's really the intent of these kind of quick, you know, quick setups and overflow sites is that they should be functioning rather quickly. But then a lot of the finer details, uh, sure enough, came afterwards, and that's what required perfecting. But now that we have all this information, uh, we've been through it once, if we ever have to you know, encounter this in the future, we certainly, I think, um, have the kind of the foundation and the framework of uh, what needs to be done. Dashboards within hours. Uh, if this was an incident out in the field, in police, at fire, EMS, they may take weeks to happen. Here at NMC, in an institution, we flip that in, in, in a few hours and we uh, had instant communication that anybody could access by click, clicking onto the, uh, the, the dashboard's icon. Some of the changes with employee and visitor screening that was happening almost every day just became um, constant and change and so I was already involved in curbside and I was involved in medical office building and so uh, Casey Webb, our practice supervisor in rehab, and Sarah Nielsen, our PT supervisor in rehab, took over employee and visitor screening. And so that continues to ever change. So we now have temporary employees who are oriented to the process. Again, it changes once a week on what are the symptoms, um, what is the process, what is our visitor policy. So that continues to be an ongoing um, amazing amount of work. There, there are lots of examples of uh of things that we did that uh, were really outside the box. Um, and um, uh, I think that um, uh, one is the technology we just talked about um, and, and using it uh, for this response. Uh, but more impressive is how um, we just essentially got together, kind of broke down barriers and dealt with the problem.